Hello YouTube, this is Robert Ness 816 and you're looking at the Velman MK194 digital FM radio. Is it worth the additional money compared to one of these Chinese brands? We'll find out. So right off the bat, the parts quality alone is trumping that of the Velman, I mean the, uh, the Banggood radio. Um, I wish this radio had a case, but it is what it is. So the speaker on this radio is much better. It is not falling apart and it does not need to be uh, assembled again, whereas it did on this radio. So with this radio, the uh, gasket on around the outside was coming off, which was actually taking some of the cone with it. So, uh, but this one really seems like it's better. Uh, the resistors are very uh, readable so their code color is very easy to see um, same thing with these ceramic caps too their um, values are very easy to see and also all these other components as well are all good name brand products and not just knockoff junk so let's throw this thing together and see what we get also look at that PCB isn't that nice nice and thick definitely very nice so, we'll see how this radio goes together. Stay tuned. So I've got my solder ready, the iron's all heating up, got my beer. So, good to go. And uh, we'll just solder this thing all up and we'll get her all going. Okay, guys, so this will be a wrap up here with this kit. It's all assembled. I have soldered everything together. It all came out really nice. Um, Really no complaints with the assembly. It's very, very simple. Um, the hardest part is probably surface mount, uh, mounting this part right here since it is a surface mount component. And it's basically just sitting on the board and then you basically solder the uh, this FM module to the actual board itself. Um, I believe that this is your uh, amplifier here and this might be a memory chip for your preset stations because the entire um, radio is actually inside of this little module here. All right, so we're gonna power on the radio and uh, I'll just go through the uh, bands real quick. I'm not gonna do a complete band scan, um, but I will tell you it is very sensitive, so we'll pick up a lot of stations. And you can hear that gradual uh, power on function working. So this radio does have very good clarity. Um, it has very good components with it too, which I guess is why it sounds and works so good. It is pricey though at $29 on eBay with free shipping, but you do get um, satisfaction with it though because your final product is something that actually works really, really well. Um, it sounds great, it performs well, it picks up lots of stations. Um, it basically performs just as you would um, expect the radio to work if you were to say purchasing one from a uh, from a store or whatever um, assembly on this radio was very easy 
all these electrolytic capacitors are all the same value. All of these uh, ceramic capacitors are all the same value. Um, the only sort of tricky part here was these uh, resistors here, but they're all labeled clearly in the manual, so it's very easy to look at the color coding and coordinate that with where they're supposed to go. Um, they're also put in the proper order, so this way when you're assembling the radio, you really can't screw it up. Um, so if I was to change anything on this radio as far as its design, I would put a forward and backward scanning button here instead of just a forward scanning button. Um, and I'll also make the uh, beeping um, a little more audible. So when you hold down the preset button here for one or two seconds, um, it'll beep and that'll confirm that the uh, radio has saved your station. And that beep is very low, so I would like for that beep to be louder. Um, and also it would be kind of cool if Veliman made a case like this, or made a radio like this that could be put inside of a case. Um, that would just be something that would, I think, just be like, you know, kind of like the icing on a cake. Because, you know, while it's cool to see all the components that are out and everything like this, it's still, I don't know, it still looks like um, a little sloppy to me as far as its presentation goes. But, again, it is a kit radio, so I guess they just want to show off, hey, look, you built something, you know, just to show off all the components and whatnot. But, um, yeah, it's, assembly is, is very simple, and the PCB on this thing is of amazing quality, though. I mean, it's like you could use this thing as a weapon almost. Um, but soldering to this PCB was very simple. I didn't have any issues with uh, lifted traces or anything like that. Just very simple to solder everything to. Um, so, yeah, again, you do get really good components with this radio. And my fingers in the way sorry about that but you do get really good components with this radio and um yeah i have no complaints with it all right guys thanks for watching